Good evening and a thank you for joining us. A vital resource is set to flow into eastern New Mexico. The federal government is investing millions of dollars to make sure it has clean drinking water for the foreseeable future. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez joins us from Clovis where the Secretary of the Interior announced that investment and the projects to make that water more accessible. Joshua? Karen and Abner, Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, making the trip to New Mexico today to announce a $17 million investment in water infrastructure by the federal government. $7 million of that investment will go towards building the pipeline that you see behind me, which is expected to bring clean drinking water to tens of thousands of people across eastern New Mexico. Water is life. It's essential for feeding families, for growing crops, for sustaining wildlife, and for powering agriculture. In an effort to ensure those needs are met, 17 million federal dollars are flowing into the Ute Pipeline project in Clovis, New Mexico. This project will lay 151 miles of pipeline and deliver a reliable water supply from the Ute Reservoir. That new source of drinkable water taking pressure off the Ogallala Aquifer, the same aquifer supplying water to Texas's South Plains and Panhandle regions. Drought conditions are causing the Ogallala Aquifer to dry up, threatening local water supplies for many towns and cities across the region. But we all understand that we're 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 using too much of the water in the Ogallala Aquifer, uh, not just here, but through uh, Texas and, and going up north. Clovis Mayor Mike Morris says the water from the Ute Reservoir will be filtered at a treatment center to be built in Grady and will supply more than 70,000 residents. The, the raw water brought from the reservoir will come in there, be treated, and then from there it flows uh, in the pipeline that we're standing above right now. It'll flow in this pipeline and into our member communities. That facility will be covered by 10 of the $17 million from the federal government adding to more than $220 million already invested in the project over the past two years. That's what it's going to take uh, in order to, to extend the life of that aquifer. And the investment announced here in New Mexico today, just part of the commitment by the federal government through President Biden's Investing in America agenda. Now the influx of federal dollars for this project expected to have it finished by 2029. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Joshua.